فتر الذي في قلوبهم مرض يسارعون فيهم ناو كمنج باك تو دي تايم اوف دي بروفيت صلى الله عليه وسلم اجين ا منشن از بينج ميد اوف دي هيپوكرايتس دي منافقين تر الذي في قلوبهم مرض يو ويل سي دوز بيبل هو هاف ا ديزيز ان ذير هارتس ذيس ورز دي نوت نفاق في قلوبهم مرض فزادهم الله مرضا ولهم عذاب اليم بما كانوا يكذبون ان دي فيري سكند سكشن اوف سوره البقره فَتَرَى الَّذِينَ فِي قُلُوبِهِمْ مَرَضٌ يُسَارِعُونَ فِي They are running about in them, moving about in them. They want to please them, keep them pleased. The munafiqeen, they want to, wanted to keep them pleased, the Jews. يَقُولُونَ نَقْشَا أَن تُسِيبَنَا دَائِرَا If somebody asks them, what are you doing? Why are you going so close to them? Why do you meet them so often? Why are you seen so, so often in their company? What was the reply? Ya kuruna naksha ni tusi bana daira. We fear that any turn of event may prove disastrous for us. As I said last night, we can't keep all the eggs in one basket. We have to keep some good offices with these people. But God knows, maybe they get the upper hand. What shall we do then? This is the their character. Fasal lahu an yati abil fatr. So. Maybe that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala brings victory for the Muslims. Our Amrim min indihi. Or another some commandment comes from him. Fa yusbihu ala ma asarru fi anfusim na adameen. And then these people will have to repent and be remorseful. And they will have to regret on what they had in their hearts. Wa yaqulu al-lazina amanu and then the, the true moments will say, are these the people who were swearing as much as they could in the minkum that you are they are with us but we know when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has exposed them they will be wonder who oh, these people they were bunafis we thought them to be Muslims Muslims and they always swore by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by God we are with you Trust us. Habeta tamal. All their good deeds have gone in vain. They have been praying behind Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam in the mosque, where one salah gives the reward of fifty thousand. But you know, only for the momin, not for the munafik. All their deeds will go in vain. Fasbahu khasirin. And they will be the losers, the biggest losers. Now come a set of three ayat, which are amongst the most important ayat of the Quran. And here we shall find the word irtidad. What is irtidad? Radda yaruddo, to turn somebody else, turn him away, turn that away. Irtidad. To turn yourself back. Irtidad. And irtidad is also a legal thing and a hidden thing. As I told you, real iman versus legal iman. A munafiq is legally a mu'min, but really a kafir. So real iman versus legal iman. Real nifaq, real kufr versus legal kufr. And now, third category, real irtidad and legal irtidad. Legally, a, a person is murtad when he openly says, I am not a Muslim now. Converts to Christianity or to any other religion, he becomes a Hindu or, or both. Or so, so. He declares it. He is a legal murtad. But somebody is hiding in him. He has become kafir. But he doesn't want to declare. Just as the munafiq. In the ladhina amanu summa kafaru summa amanu summa kafaru summa zdadu kufran. They had become kafirs. They were murtad. But not legal murtad. Murtad within. And the same is the case of a person. Please note. Who joins the party of Allah. Hezbollah. He says, I devote myself for Allah and his deen. 
and when there are difficulties and tests and tribulations, he starts he starts retracting his steps, going back, going to the rear, shading into the background. This is irtidad. But this is essential irtidad, not legal irtidad. Ya you Allah in Amanu, may your taddam in Kumandi. Oh, you believe. Be warned. Whosoever amongst you will retrace his steps from Iman, real Iman to real Kufr, remaining a legal Muslim all the time. Fasafayatillah will be coming. So Allah doesn't care about them. Allah doesn't care about you. Allah will bring another people. Allah will bring in your place another nation, another community whom he will love and they will love him. It's a mutual bond of love between Allah and his servants and bondsmen. They will be very lenient and humble to the Muslims. And stern and firm against the kuffar, against the disbelievers. Yujahiduna fi sabirillah and they will make jihad in the way of Allah. Wala yakhafuna lawmat allahim and they will never fear or never care for the reproach of any reproacher. This reproach is also friendly sometimes. What has happened to you? You are not looking after your family correctly. You are devoting your time more to your party. You are not looking after your family. You are spending in the way of Allah, going on, going on. You are not keeping something with you for bad days to come. This reproach can be friendly. Vapas nahi phera koi farman junu ka tanha nahi loti kabhi awaz jaras ki. خیریت جان راحت تن صحت داما سب بھول گئی مسلحت اہل حوث کی اس راہ میں جو سب پہ گزرتی ہے سو گزری تنہا کا پس زندہ کا بھی رسوا سر بازار کڑکے ہے بہت شیخ سر گوشہ ممبر درجے ہے بہت اہل حکم بر سر دربار چھوڑا نہیں غیروں نے کوئی ناوی کے دشنام اور چھوٹی نہیں اپنوں سے کوئی طرز بلامت اس عشق نہ اس عشق پہ نادم ہے مگر دل ہر داغ ہے اس دل میں بجوز داغ ندامت اے ٹرو مومن ہی ڈیوٹس ہم سیلف ہی انویسٹ ہم سیلف ہی ڈزنٹ کیئر فار اس کیریئر فار اس بزنس پیپل ول سے از اے فول اے نو مینو کما آمن اے سوفہ شوڈ وی آلسو بیکم لائک دیز فولس They don't have any thought about their future. They are not mindful of their benefits and interests. They are crazy. They are fanatics. Well, Allah loves such fanatics. Ya ayu alladheen amanu man yartadda minkum an deenahi fa sofa yati allahu biqawmin yuhibbuhum wa yuhibbunahu. Three dimensions. May Allah give us this character. But there are three constituent aspects of this character. A mutual love between Allah and you. Yuhibbuhum wa yuhibbunahu. Allah loves them and they love him. Azillatin alal mu'mineen, aizzatin alal kafirin. Tough on the unbelievers and very lenient and humble towards the believers. Yujahiduna fi sabirillah. Third dimension. They are exerting and devoting everything. For the cause of Allah, to make the deen of Allah supreme. And they are not caring for any reproacher. He is reproaching either in an opposing way or in an advising way. This is the bounty of Allah. He gives to whomsoever he pleases. May Allah include us in them. Wallahu asim alim. And don't think the Treasures of the bounty of Allah are not limited. All resourceful. 
he is all resourceful and he knows everything he knows who is worthy of this bounty he doesn't throw it his bounty is not to be thrown away he knows who is worthy to have it. 